Packet Tracer Activity 6.4.3.3 is on connecting a router to a local area network. So let's take a look at our router here. And I will stay relatively close to the um, activity, but I might diverge from it from time to time. So yeah, your password is Cisco. Enable password is class. All right, and we're in. Now let's start by taking a look around. So we've already seen how the show run will show us all of our configuration. And you can see we have some things configured already. Uh, let's do a show IP interface brief, which is going to give us a real quick view of all of our interfaces, their status, their IP addresses, their status, how they were set, um, up and up means that everything is working perfectly. So this serial interface is configured and fully operational. We're not going to worry about serial interfaces for the moment. We are going to do um, a little more work with our Ethernet interfaces. I want to come back to this and to a couple of other show commands here a little bit later on. Um, but let's do some configuration first and then we'll come back and we'll display some of this other information. So we're going to start on R1 and we are going to configure our gigabit ethernet interface 00. zero. So, I'm going to go enable config t. I was already in a privilege mode, but that's okay. Config t interface gigabit ethernet 00. zero, zero, slash zero. We're going to set an IP address using the command IP add, and our IP address is going to be 192.168. Type the right thing, 10.1. And then when we do that, we also need to put in the uh, network mask. So 255.255.255.0. Now, one thing with routers is that by default, all of their interfaces are administratively down, which means somebody has gone in and put in the shutdown command. It's a default option. So we need to issue the command no shutdown or no shut. And when we do, we should get this. Interface gigabit ethers net zero zero change state to up, line protocol, and sometimes depending on which interface you're using, it may take a second or so for this to come up, but line protocol should change state type. Even it normally comes up right away. Okay, so best practice is to put a description on the interface as well. So we're gonna do description, LAN connection to S1. And that's just going to make our life a little bit easier when we look at our running config. Let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, end. So let me do a show run, and we're going to find gigabit ethernet 00. That's going to be right here. And this description shows up right away. And so that tells us, hey, this is where this goes. This is what we're doing with this interface. And then we'll have the IP address. And notice gigabit ethernet 01 has the shutdown. This does not. Therefore, it's not shut down and it's fully operational. In fact, if we look, we'll see, hey, fully operational. Okay, so that's basic. Pretty much all you have to do to configure a router interface. Set a description, which not required but best practice. Set an IP address and subnet mask and then activate it. Now as we get along deeper into Cisco, we're going to see a whole lot more or a whole lot of other options. But for a basic one, that's all it takes. Let's go ahead and scroll up to our table here and we're going to configure the rest of our stuff. So control C because I'm done with that. Config T and we're going to go into interface G01. We're going to set an IP address of 192.168.11.1 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. And then this one is a link to S2. So we're going to do description. Uh, I don't even remember what we called it. Let's see if we can match it. Do to do was in here somewhere. LAN connection to S2. That's what it was. LAN connection to S2, just so that'll be consistent. And copy, run, run, there we go, start. Okay, um, we'll come back to this a little bit later. Let's go ahead and configure S or R2, and then I want to show you some more show commands where we can see a little bit more data about our interfaces. So let's start with our CLI, and we're going to configure this Cisco class config T going to interface uh, G00 and we're going to set an IP address of 10.1.1.1 
No shutdown. And G00 here, I believe, is our link to S3. So we're going to do a description. Now, anytime you see that uh, I didn't have a prompt there, I just hit enter and it gave me a prompt back immediately. Anytime a command like this pops up, just hit enter and your uh, prompt will return. So let's set description, LAN connection to S3. And then we're going to interface G01. And notice I didn't go back to global config to do it. I could just type the interface command and it would take me straight there. So we're going to set an IP address of 10.1.2.1. Remember the IP addresses for the Cisco routers have to be on different networks. Otherwise it won't work. No shut. Description. LAN connection to S4. Now, before I hit enter on this, I want you to see what happened. When I hit enter, it gave me my prompt and then immediately gave me this message. Well, I said before, if you just hit enter, it'll take you back to your prompt, right? Technically, I'm still at this prompt up here, even though this is jumped up. So if I just type my command, it'll go ahead and take it and we'll be all set. Um, if that bothers you, then just hit enter and it'll clear it out and you'll be just fine. All right, now I promised you some more show commands. So let's take this full screen for the moment and let's do some more show commands. So I'm going to end. Show run is something we've talked about before. And now we can see our gigabit ethernet configurations and our serial configurations and we can see everything. So show run, uh, show IP interface brief we looked at forgive the pun briefly, a little bit earlier on, and we can see that now it's all configured. And you can see these. Uh, this interface is still administratively down. That's because we haven't put a no shutdown command on it. Remember, that's a default for all interfaces on a Cisco router. Now, you can also issue the command show interfaces, and I don't recommend you do this often because this shows you everything you wanted to know about every interface. So gigabit ethernet 00 is up, LAN protocol is up, the hardware, the MAC address, the description, the internet address, the MTU, bandwidth delay, reliability, transmit load, receive load, uh, queues, um, input rates, output rates, errors, literally anything you want to know. And when it gets in with one interface, it goes on to the next one. Now you can, let me control C out of here. You can view just a specific interface. So, so let's do show interface as 000. And this will give you just that one interface. And this is actually a little bit easier to work with because it's one interface at a time. And we see all the same information, just now one interface at a time rather than scrolling through multiple pages and a wall of text in order to find the information that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here. We have co successfully completed, uh, almost successfully completed. Oh, look, we have an interface that's down, R1. Oops, let's go take a look. I'm betting I forgot to do a turn up on that line. So let me do a show IP interface brief. And sure enough, my G01 is still administratively down. So in config T interface G01 and no shut. Okay, we are up now. Um, other things that we want to do. Uh, we wanted to take a look at pinging real quick. So from my router, uh, I'm on R1. So from my router, I can ping and type the IP address of a PC, 192.168.10.1. And you see we have successes. So when you do a ping, let me ping something that doesn't exist. When you ping, a period is the same thing as a request timed out in Windows. And an exclamation point, you'll sometimes hear people refer to it as a bang, uh, is a success. And you'll also notice that when we do this, let me do 192.168.11.1. When we do this, it'll do five pings instead of four the way Windows does. No big deal. It's basically doing the same thing, just slightly different or slight, yeah, slightly different number of them. Okay. 
Um, so we are pinging, we are communicating. The other thing I wanted to show you was the routing table. So let me real quick remind you, I'm sitting on R1 right here. R1 will only learn about its local uh, connected networks by default. So it'll learn about this network, which is directly connected, this one, which is connected, this one, which is connected. But these two over here, the 10 dot networks, are not directly connected. So the only way it's going to learn about them is by us either putting in a manual route or by configuring a routing protocol. Now in this case, the routing protocol has already been configured for us. So I'm going to do a show IP route and we need to see a little bit more of this. Here we go. The show IP route, the first part of it is all the routing table codes. And those codes basically define just this first column here. So you see here D, well that's EIGRP. So I learned about this route from EIGRP. Uh, C is directly connected. That's my directly connected network. L means local. And so what that is, is this is my directly connected network. This is my local interface on that directly connected network. And then you'll see the routing source, the destination, the subnet mask for the destination is directly connected through serial 000. Here we have a uh, EIGRP one. This is our administrative distance. This is our metric. This is who we're connecting to. This is timestamp for that uh, route. And this is uh, the exit interface to get to that route. So. We'll take a closer look at this as we move along. Now, my little perfectionism is kicking into play here. And I loosely followed this, and it's telling me I got 51 out of 54. So just to remind you, when you're working on a packet tracer activity, you can click Check Results and see what you're missing. And in this case, it's saying, oh, saying I didn't save uh, the startup config on R2, apparently. Yeah, well, not a big deal. Um... Let me do that real quick. I'm going to go to R2, Cisco, enable, class, copy, run, start. And there we go. I'm now at a perfect score. Okay, I feel better about myself now. All right. So that is Packet Tracer Activity 6433, in which we learned how to configure an IP address on a local area interface, activate that interface, and then we looked at some ways to inspect what's going on on those interfaces.